My name is Mohammed Mahmoud and I'm a senior policy analyst with the Central Arizona Project. Central Arizona Project itself is a 336 mile long aqueduct that delivers water from the Colorado River diverting just south of Lake Havasu, moving through Central Arizona before it terminates south of the city of Tucson. In terms of what we're doing for our future water supply, we keep track of conditions of the Colorado River in the upper basin where most of our supply is being generated. It's a snow-driven system. We need to know how the snowpack is doing. That translates to spring runoff. The water that's generated ends up in reservoirs that we also keep track of their condition. So in terms of short-term outlook, that's what we look at to determine the health of the system. In terms of long-term, we explore the impact of climate change on the basin itself. Well, the Colorado River is a significant renewable water supply for the state of Arizona. Almost greater than 80% of the state's population rely on that water supply. So that includes Phoenix, city of Tucson, and it provides water and helps support agricultural districts in Arizona and some of the largest agricultural districts down in Yuma, Arizona. And besides that, Native American communities also rely on this water supply, both along the river itself, as well as Native communities within central Arizona. Well, rocket science, in a way, is used through uh, million-dollar grant that NASA provided to Arizona State University to partner with Central Arizona Project to explore the full depth of an impact of climate change using NASA products and data. Specifically, the satellite data and remote sensing information that NASA provide help to uh, allow us to use the most cutting edge, most recent information to do the modeling and analysis required to explore the full depth of climate change impacts in the basin. There is a benefit to using this data right now because it can help inform policymakers about decisions they're making in the near future about water management. We're also engaging stakeholders from across the basin to rely on their input and expertise when it comes to identifying impacts to the, to the specific water supply that they rely on out of the basin. And this includes water users from the other Colorado River Basin states as well as the federal government. Well, understanding the impact of climate change is important because more and more our analysis is showing us that we're expecting to have a hotter and drier future. And we need to understand how that impacts our water supply and our operations. But it's also important to you because it is your water, your future.